looking out of one of the windows of my house a few days ago, while thinking about what to say this afternoon, I remember the paradise tree in the garden which my childhood swing used to hang from. When it withered and died, I felt devastated. But now, 40 years later, there are four big trees growing in its place and are all fruit bearing. For me, this award is so immense and significant that I can only explain it and express my thanks for it with a story that I, that I have never told until now. It is a story about a small fatherless child, yet another child left fatherless by the armed violence in Honduras. It is a story about a childhood filled with sadness, but the child learned that whatever the circumstances, courage and strength are necessary to achieve one's dreams. And the first step is always to dream. In 2002, she began her first investigations as a journalist and it gave meaning to her life. But in 2008, censorship forced her to leave her dream job at the newspaper. And by 2011, her constant fight for free expression and to tell the truth meant that all the doors to the media monopoly were closed to her. But once again, journalism saved her. She discovered that frustration with censorship is not the way. Rather, the way to overcome censorship is with the word. And although some doors were closed to her, doors to more humane, less commercial, more rigorous kind of journalism were opened. The kind of journalism that investigate and pauses on each word that does not proclaim impartiality, but seeks truth. The kind of journalism that is capable of showing her people that their society is being governed by drug trafficking and ruthless groups, who since 2009 coup have sacrificed lawyers, doctors, women, 70 journalists, and executed young people in an almost invisible genocide. The kind of journalism that can identify with a nation governed by someone who was rejected at the polls. Someone who controls the press that in turn covers up military assassinations, the corruption of officials and the everyday cruel realities for the Honduran people. Realities such as the 14 years old girl sold by her father for a liter of alcohol with already pregnant, or the newborn baby who died of malnutrition and weighed more when he was born than when he died. In short, so many stories to tell, so many stories that the press is censored from telling. But the young girl with whom this story began has been so fortunate that by refusing to remain silent, and refusing to become part of this cruel system by telling stories that a journalist should tell, she's been shown once again that the courage to dream is well rewarded. That there is always someone willing to extend their hand and say, come on, it's worth resisting, it's worth dreaming and fighting to transform all of this pain into a reward, a reward which gives me hope. I dedicate this prize to my fellow people of Honduras who demonstrate every day that they wish to move forward and overcome the violence, impunity, and corruption which have been afflicting us for more than three decades. Muchas gracias para ustedes y para mi país. Gracias.